I started off with a bed and breakfast and horseback riding. I had the cabin and nice cabin and everything, but it's Oregon, it's the Northwest, there's a lot of nice cabins. Every, you know, so what distinguished my cabin from everybody else? Nothing, and nobody came. Uh, but I had this tree house that I had built for my kids, and I said, well, why don't I make this an adult tree house? And the demand grew, so I started, I built the Swiss family. Now, when I started building the Swiss family, the county came after me and said, hey, uh, I was getting enough notoriety and they wanted to know where my permits were. Well, I went in to try to get a permit. They said I couldn't get one because the tree house has, doesn't have a, what is it, uh, a concrete foundation, masonry, or treated wood. And um, I said, well, it's got a, you know, it's a tree is the foundation for it. So it's July 4th and we have an order to tear down. So what I do is I invite all my friends. And I invited the news media. Loaded up the treehouse with 10,876 pounds. You know, it was 66 people, two dogs, a cat, and we're not sure if the hummingbird lighted and the county uh, decided from that that, uh, well, they would rescind the teardown order. And they said that we could still go up in the treehouse and friends could still go up in the treehouse, just like a kid's treehouse that didn't need a permit. Uh, but I couldn't allow the general public to stay in it. So uh, I came up with the idea of selling one of a kind dated tree shirts. You could buy that certain date, like uh, July 25th. And I think we were selling them for like 60 bucks, uh, you know, a shirt. Now, if you bought that dated one of a kind shirt, it didn't guarantee that you could spend the night. But if you spent the night, I would sign that shirt. That worked for a number of years uh, until they took us to court after I built the, the suite. I went to the courts and, and uh, got an order to, uh, for nobody to occupy the treehouse except for direct family. But uh, the judge found, uh, he took a very uh, narrow view of occupier, or the meaning to live in. And even though there was evidence of people up in the treehouse, the way the order was written, it wasn't, there was no evidence that anybody was actually living in it. Anyway, after they found me not in contempt, they finally allowed me to apply, show my engineering, and finally get a permit. It took eight years, basically, of battling the county. And what I call, uh, what I use as my weapons was publicity, uh, and it was a big controversy, and um, it was a lot of fun, but um, I kind of miss it. But uh, uh, from then, uh, you know, things have gone well. Uh, I've expanded, and actually I, I'm, I need to go back to the county and, and uh, uh, get back compliant again, but this time we're, we're working a little bit better together and hopefully things should be nice and hunky-dory.